Hi everybody. Long time no see. Uh, just before I send these off, I want to make a quick video of them for my documentation and for uh, for people maybe to, just to give ideas. These are called fidget quilts or fidget blankets or something like that. And um, when when I was asked to make some, I had to go online and see what other people were doing. And then I had to come up with some of my own ideas based on, um, based on the materials that I had and, you know, so forth. So everybody has stuff in their sewing stash um, that they can use for this kind of thing. And uh, it, it really helps the nursing homes a lot. I've been told that um, that people with dementia or autism even, or Alzheimer's, or just suffer from sundowner syndrome, uh, where uh, you think Night at the Museum was a good movie, you should go spend the night in a nursing home. It is, it will open your eyes. <laughs> And God bless them. It's, there's something about the twilight of the evening or even starts in the early afternoon when, when um, some of the patients get antsy and anxious and they need something to focus on and to um, comfort them. So here are, I'm going to show you three. This is the first one. Um, things that feel good. To me, this feels like a little cat's tail. There's some writing on here. Just little things to fiddle with. There's a button of a little monkey face hiding there. Here's a buckle. Here's just a little thing. Um, a little bead. Zippers. Zippers are very, very popular. And if I'd had a longer one, I would have used it. This is just one of those things you can curl your hair with. It's a bendy thing. It can be bent in lots of different directions. You need to secure everything really well. So I put bar tacks on this and also glued the thread so the thread would not start to ravel. Here is a buckle with Velcro on it. They like to just rip that back and forth. I put a little surprise in the pockets, and made pockets. Um, this is texture. They, they, for some reason, they'll just feel of something like that. And it somehow it, it makes connections in their head. These are on elastic, these little beads so they can be stretched. They don't have to be on elastic. Just little things to play with. A button. This one actually buttons over here. The next one, let's get the next one under here. Um, Tic-tac-toe, things that can stick their fingers underneath, things like this. This is a kind of clear lace stuff and I put a bead on the inside of it so that it could be shoved this way and that and there's two of those on there. I like to put something in the pockets and it needs to be attached. Here's a little kind of a bug in this pocket. Another zipper, buttons and a buttonhole, another bead, some more rings, rings, little tatted flower, little button, things that texturally have variety. So there's contrast in the texture and they can feel of these things. Okay, so here's another one. And this is the last one. Let me flip this around. Um, belt buckles, slide that back and forth, zippers, pockets, 
little pillow that's attached to stick back and forth, a button with an anchor, and here's something that I thought I got off internet. Um, this is underneath lace, and I put I I sort of captured these uh, rings under there, and so that can be pushed on a path here. It it won't come out, um, you know, unless they rip it or something. But they're generally not violent. Little flaps, little different things. Things to look at. Here's some suede leather and a little button on top of that. Just things for them to hold on to. You make those, Judy. Yes, I did. Wow, you're yeah. talented. What did you count these and touch everything? I oh just have God. a lot of junk. What, what do you call them? <laughs> those are fidget quilts. Fidget quilts. But yeah. the, and to, what are what is their well, I need use? One. She's got a little their use is for people with Alzheimer's or some kind of dementia oh, that bug. where they need comfort. Those are so Cute. Look, they've got a card they can tuck in, and actually, they can tuck it over there. I love these. Oh, yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> Very sweet. What's in this pocket? Uh, we didn't pick in here. What is it? Oh, it's a little pillow oh, that's attached. Oh, cute. Oh, cute. Very sweet. I love them. Yeah. Oh, you get nice. busy, girl. That's lovely. Nice. Look, you got to you use can be proud of these. <laughs> Look, here's a zipper. They'll, they'll, they'll do this a hundred times, back and yeah. forth. Yeah, they will. with that. How cute. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You are, you're <laughs> talented. Now, a lot of you have been asking whether or not I'm still potting. Uh, that is, throwing pottery and glazing it, selling it, and so forth. Yes, I am. And I've been very busy. Uh, I really missed you guys. And um, it's beginning to be warmer. And so I'm going to be um, wrapping up my project and I can get my studio open back up. Uh, everything's just kind of the way I left it. Um, so I'll be making some videos. I've got a couple of kiln loads to show you and some that isn't fired yet to show you. And so you'll be seeing me and I'm also haven't forgotten I'm going to do a video on my painting, and I will see you very soon. Take care. Love you guys. Bye-bye.